Denial can be dangerous and even deadly. So I make these little audio clips and post them on various social media platforms. I also create memes based on things that I see that are trending or conversations that I've had um, on my posts. And every now and then someone will, mostly a man, will pop onto one of these clips or one of these memes or one of these posts that I make and they'll say no. Generally, that's all they say is no or false. And what they're referring to nine times out of 10 is a fact. It's a statistic. It's something that had they taken two seconds to Google, you know, or use whatever platform they want to use to search it, they would find out it's a fact. And I have stated to some of these men, you saying no or saying false doesn't change the fact that this is a fact, that this is something researchable, that this is something proven. Now, facts do change in terms of, you know, from year to year, percentages can change from decade to decade, you know, trends can change, things can change, but we're not talking about there having been enough time (laughs) for it to change. We're talking about just denying that this fact is a fact and calling it false. Now, people are allowed to have their opinions, but they're not allowed to have their own facts. And I don't really care that much what people on social media think or, you know, believe And whether they believe that facts are facts or not. But where it does become a problem is that some of these people may be voters. And four days ago, this is June 9th when I'm making this clip, four days ago, so June 5th, the legislature was able to enshrine as a federal right birth control but no Republicans voted to make that a federal right. It needed 60 votes to pass. It got 51. So birth control is not a federal right. And it's because of certain people's belief systems that it's not, that they didn't vote. Now, before Roe versus Woe, the Roe versus Wade was overturned. There were many people who had been hearing about the Supreme Court case and they were talking about what could happen with maternal mortality rates if Roe versus Wade was overturned and Republicans were saying no false. The same thing that these men are saying on my posts and clips and commenting in my threads, but their no and their false led to them voting a certain way, led to the Supreme Court getting a case in front of them and led to those justices overturning Roe versus Wade. And in the time since it's been overturned in the state's where it's banned, mothers are three times more likely to perish from complications regarding pregnancy. Three times more likely. So their no and their false has real consequences for real people who had been living real lives. And we're coming up on another election. And if you haven't heard about Project 2025, please research it. There are so many things in this agenda for the first 180 days of a conservative presidency. Things like banning the department or disbanding the Department of Education, 
the Department of Health and Human Services, the EPA, um, and many other, basically making the United States government as we know it cease to exist, giving the president pretty much unlimited power and basically turning us from a democracy into a theocracy because some of the provisions in Project 2025 are to basically rewrite our legal system to where it more closely resonates with what these people believe are biblical worldviews. Now, you could debate some of these people and say this is going to be harmful and their response would probably be no, false. But their no and their false doesn't make that a true statement. It doesn't make what they're doing or what they plan to do no longer harmful, no longer detrimental to women, minorities, the poor, and in many other marginalized groups. So denial can be dangerous and deadly. And when people act like facts aren't facts and predictions don't need to be considered because they think they know best. They can put other people in a very dangerous or even deadly situation. And it's sad that we live in a world where adults will basically stick their fingers in their ears and say, la, 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 because they don't want to hear facts. They don't want to hear anything that contradicts their worldview. They don't want to accept that we are individual people and we have individual rights. They want to take away those individual rights if they don't agree with them. And it is sad that a country that was supposed to be about freedom and liberty and the Bill of Rights and the saying that, you know, we hold these truths to be inalienable, that all men were created and given the rights to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. I don't know where that went. 